Let's cross now to Los Angeles where we can speak to Peter Matthews. He is a professor of political science at Cyprus College. Welcome to TRT World. Who do you think fared better in the debate? Trump didn't fly off the handle as some were predicting, but do you think there were any real surprises? I think that Hillary did very well in terms of uh, being prepared and being able to come up with policy issues that were substantive and to needle Trump and get under his skin a couple of times toward the end. Trump did very well at the beginning. I think he was policy oriented there as well and was able to talk about jobs and how he would create jobs, his policies. Of course, Hillary dismissed that as trickle down economics, recycled again because Trump wants to cut taxes on wealthy investors and create jobs by deregulation. And then he attacked her for NAFTA and free trade. And that's something she's vulnerable on. So there was some issue discussions at the beginning the whole thing degenerated too much into personality and charging each other's personal faults, like when she went after Trump on his taxes, and she, he went after her and said, I'll release my taxes if you release your emails. That was an interesting comeback. But he didn't talk about her money in politics, about her having taken so much money from Wall Street and not disclosing her Goldman Sachs speeches, or which she made to Goldman Sachs and got paid very well for it. He didn't do that. I was surprised at that, though. But it was very interesting to see two different styles of debating. I think Trump held his own, though, because he didn't fly off the handle and act too bizarre or come up with crazy statements, some of which he's made in the past. But Peter, so I think the low bar was low, and he did well for that. But Peter Matthews, you did bring up Hillary Clinton's emails. Do people trust her? Will this be a problem for her? Yes, trustworthiness is still a big issue for both of them, but particularly for her on the several incidents of her hiding her illness for a while, uh, emails, the scandal, and many other things, Clinton Foundation. People have to get over that. So the question is, will the polls be moved by this debate? In my view, we've got to wait for a few days to see what people are thinking and who will come back to Hillary. Because Hillary was eight points ahead of him just less than a month ago. And she's down to a dead heat within one or two percent ahead of him now. And he's actually tied her and ahead of him, her in some of the swing states. So will she be able to bring back enough people who have left her based on her performance tonight? The real question is, will those people come to trust her again? Because that's what's been shaken. And if they don't come back to trust her again, especially many of the Bernie supporters, and by the way, I should say that a huge number of millennials and Bernie supporters have not come back to trust her yet, not as of till today anyway. I don't think tonight's performance is going to bring them back in necessarily. So uh, it was a very interesting performance, but I don't think it did the job. It's not going to swing the polls very drastically, not right away anyway. We'll see what happens in about a week. Well, they were saying that this was going to be more watched than the Super Bowl with more than 100 million viewers, how much influence do these debates really have? In this kind of a situation where the race is so close and just a handful of swing states can determine the difference and they're within 1% of margin to either side, it can make a huge difference if one of them had actually flubbed the debate. Let's say one of them, like Trump, had actually hammered her real hard and he was look, looked at as very being anti-woman and vitriolic and a non-leader. That would have hurt him a lot. And I don't, I don't think he did that. And Hillary herself, she could have also been on the defensive if he had put her on the defensive about the money in politics or about the corruption. But she wasn't on the defensive. She was able to handle many of those charges that he made, a few charges that he made. So I don't think it's shifted anything yet. Uh, but we will see what happens. And on the issues, I would wish they would just discuss the issues more because that's so important to the American people. People are waiting to hear what's going to happen with the economy. Because as you know, two thirds of the new jobs created since President Obama came in and since the recession was over, Two thirds of those jobs are lower paying jobs. And there's still high levels of underemployment and hidden unemployment. And Trump is reaching out to those disaffected voters who have lost their jobs, who are very much afraid they'll lose their jobs, but their children won't do as well as they did. And many of these are white, non college educated voters who used to work in factory jobs on the assembly line. They're in states like Pennsylvania, Ohio, and even Florida. And those swing states are going to be crucial. So these people he's going after with a jobs issue are crucial and critical voters. I don't think they're going to go to Hillary yet. We'll see what happens, though. Okay, Peter Matthews, live in L.A. Thank you very much.